Try. What? Uh, I think you you might. Well, what'd you pay for Looper? Oh, too much. Fourteen dollars. And and meanwhile, Hotel Transylvania went for eleven dollars. By the way, I know who's going to win this this uh, this winter draft, and it's totally Tom because he got Rise of the Guardians for eight dollars. Rise of the Guardians is the only Santa Claus movie this this winter season. It's also projected to make between one hundred and fifty and two hundred million dollars. And I believe you just stumbled into another bad stake bet with one uh, with one John Tilton. That one is not making one hundred and fifty million dollars, and I put a stake on it, and I'm gonna have my stake. Brian All right, we'll see. All right, peace out, yo. Then do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, NSFW, I love you. Oh, NSFW. Bad news, bro. Time Warner Cable. <laughs> man, we had a lot of good possible names. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> we said the love dump. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Love dumps in a friendship bag. Man, no rhythm is a dancer, spam is a rapist. <laughs> God. Tall beer, short tempers. New York, New York, Maine, Kansas. Squarespace is your boner, yeah. Uh, what about ADB? Love dump. <laughs> no, okay, now people just start naming, putting references together. Love dump lady bait Weebo. It's just like, it's like NSFW chat realm spam. I cry black tears. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, Lace. Now, where, where would you, Brian, because I know you, you're my friend, you're a very, very dear friend, uh, I would estimate, because, like, I know you are a consummate professional, and you would never let your internal consternation boil over to your professional veneer, but I see your internal rage level at about a 9.7. It's it's actually not a boiling rage. It's just a resigned frustration. It's like those asshats are never, uh, there's never going to get this right. And this is what I'm, and, and the worst part was before the Doxis 3 cable modems and the new infrastructure and the upgrades, it was very reliable, if not as fast as I wanted. But now it's just not even reliable. And it's like, and the answer is, if you use it a lot, you get totally boned. So is that the problem? Is that like because of your usage that they're shutting you off? Well, it's because of, it's not because, of, to, to hear DJ Diddles describe it, Kyle. Which is amazing Kyle. that that's like, what? it's like, listen, to hear renowned tech expert DJ Diddles <laughs> DJ say Diddles. It's like, Yes. Uh, but, but the problem is, is like every asshat who calls from Time Warner, it's the same thing. It's the same drill. Oh, we're very sorry. You don't have a problem. You have a problem. We'll send out a level one tech. Level one, you know, guy, guy comes out, checks it. He's like, well, everything looks good. I don't see really with it. We can replace the, the, the router and try that. And then and it's always the same and nothing ever changes. And it always doesn't work. And, uh, and meanwhile, Kyle, if you're out there somewhere, give me, give me an exact breakdown of what the problem is so I can send it over to the folks over at Time Warner's. Because it's a uh, uh, people are like get your own modem. It's like that doesn't help. It's like I already done it. I've done, I've gone through five different modems. The problem is not the modems. The problem is the infrastructure, and the problem is that this node uh, is far enough out 
that is just twitchy on its connection and likes to take a dump whenever things get real busy. And of course, running three instances of Skype and all this other stuff, things get real busy and it just drops off. Um, just saying, pick up the phone, AT and T. AT and T can write in like a white knight. I'll tell you what. If there's somebody out there who's at one of these companies okay. represents, just give me something consistent, man. I'm just saying. Listen, like maybe he doesn't go with them. I'm saying it would be a big move for AT and T to be like, listen, what's that? Uh, like especially for Austin. Like, hey, <clears throat> like. You might be <clears throat> moderately famous on the internet. Austin, you're like legit famous. Like you're like a guy, you're an Austin guy. You could be, this could be an Austin story. All over the front page of the papers. Yep. <laughs> Local AT&T saves Austin celebrity. Yep, well, either that. Or I'm telling you what, man, until, they, until something changes, I am not. And keep in mind, I love I loved everything about my service up until this crap started to happen and it was unfixable. Like I became, I went from being a champion to being an endless factory of cursing their name in public to as many tens of thousands of people as I could at, at the moment, at any given time. So 9.7 or below of internal rage? 6.5. I mean, it's like I don't actively – like right now no, I'm just where, – Where were you – like right after you came back, because that I think I registered at a nine point seven. That was white hot rage. Like you definitely could not like stay on a topic that wasn't like you shooting thunderbolts out of your fingers like the emperor and just like time on a cable, yeah, ultimate power. Uh, let's just say on a scale from E to pi, I was like three point one four one. <laughs> Five oh, sure. How about that? All right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so, what is the name of the episode? Uh, blur, blur, blur. Uh, Black tears and the love dump. I like. Uh, I, I. I think. Hmm. What about bad news, bro? Bad news, bro. That's it. <clears throat> Here we go. This is NSFW episode 147, recorded on October 2nd, 2012. Bad news, bro. That was good. All right. Here we go. This episode is brought to you by the new Squarespace. Squarespace introduces a new content management system, making it faster and easier to create a high-quality website, blog, or online portfolio. Plus, more than 50 new features, including mobile responsive designs. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW10. Now, Brian... Uh there's a second ad here. Oh my God, is he is he out again? He just nope. Oh, okay. I thought I thought we were gonna get. Was you were frozen? Uh oh. Casquettios. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. Well, that <laughs> Brian will be in no mood for my chicanery. And mail route. Mail route is email filtering in the cloud for companies of any size. If you're tired of little or no support from your email filtering service, then mail route is the answer. For 10% off the life of your account, visit mailroute.net. Click the sign up button and enter the promo code. NSFW. Get maximum no spam in your life. I don't know why I'm putting those on the floor. Apparently, it's where they go. Yes, exactly. I put my, where my ad copy was is now a glasses hutch. Um. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. 
Uh, where do you want to think? How mad is Brian? I think we're all just waiting for it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I'll tell you, I mean, like, normally we would just keep talking, but, like, uh, we're just kind of waiting for we're the just, Yeah, because when, if we start anything, it's just going to be and interrupted. It's going to come down. In fact, I'll tell you, where's the... We have, what, what, Which what, one what do you more want? do we have? We've got hmm? more of all of them. Give me pee in a trash can. Here's some pee in a trash can. Yeah, yeah. Except for... There we go. Wait, which one of us is drinking less? Well, you so far. I've drank less than you? Or I, I mean, you've drank more. Okay. The backwards, so maybe, maybe. You, what? you have drank more. She is. Happy. Brian Burnett, our fine technical director. Brian Burnett, our fine. T- <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> me. <laughs> it's. Um, me and John were confused as to why Bi- Brian Burnett was in our rundown list. And if ah. we double clicked it, and it is. Brian Burnett, our fine technical director. Brian Burnett, our fine technical director. Brian Burnett, our fine technical director. Brian Burnett. Uh, all right, here. Do you want me to do the tease? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Right. Hi. On today's NSFW show, it's me and Brian. We're going to horse off with each other. Not in the way you're thinking, in the way without actual horses. Yeah, we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. And also, we're going to drink some beer and name it. It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW show. I'm not driving home. Double complete rainbow. Is that because we're cabbing? Special report. Yeah, how much is an Uber from here to Oakland? One cab. Yeah. I'm thinking, I don't know, 70, 80,000. You guys are driving back down that way, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you have a do you have a do you have a tow hitch? It's okay. <laughs> we'll sit in our car. Do you need to crash in my place? No, she's driving back. Oh. Those uh three glasses. Do you know how to drive a stick? Fifteen percent hit you hard. Me, it isn't going to do anything. Brian, we can't no. hear you. Fifteen, sixteen percent. I'm fifteen. I mean, I haven't said it. I oh. oh. talk, but then nobody answered. Thank you. Uh, hey man, I'm I'm running this uh this. Uh, network testing thing that T2T2 T2 sent over my way. Is it Netalyzer? Yeah. Yeah. We have the one finger salute because you're number one, Brian. Thank you, boss. Uh, look, I'm going to go ahead and drop off because it's just not fun for me getting kicked off all the time. It really sucks balls. So I'll, I'll catch you guys later on. All right, buddy. We love you. Right. See ya. Well, I'll tell you what. That's not a friendly Bry. You know, that's that's, a, that's an angry dude right now. And he wanted I to finish happy. He did. He did. We're all hey, throw up, everybody throw up your number ones. Brian's number one, and that's that's you know. Let's go ahead and all everybody. Let's tweet Brian. Brian's number one. Let's make him happy. Oh, jeez, look. I keep hiding glasses. <laughs> I think you've got five at this point. I think I do have five. I'm gonna go ahead and tweet Brian. Let's let's all. Go ahead. Brian. At Brian Brushwood. Yeah, here we go. Schwood spelled with a S C H. At Schwood is. <laughs> I'm kidding. Number one. Time Warner is number eight. You put AIDS? I did. Said wrong? T P I A. There we go. Uh, so, <laughs> how long have you been brewing beer? I feel like now, now it just becomes like a regular like talk show. Uh, well, I started off when I was in the dorms. Where'd that, you go? Uh, San Jose State. Cool. Where's that? That is uh, in Milwaukee. Okay. Yes. Fun. Yes, the, uh, there's a small state within Milwaukee known as San Jose. A small militia run. Uh, <laughs> yes. Walled off community. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, so you're in San Jose State, and what makes you want to get into brewing home brew? Well, I figure, what can I do? Also, where else? Where, where else can you get more beer? Yeah. Well, there's more um, piss in a barrel right yeah, there. Yeah, let's go. Here, piss in more a barrel, piss in yeah. barrel. That was the tall one because it's a tall piss. So I figured, 
why drink the swill that I can get down at the 7-Eleven when I can make something a little better? Sure. And what can I do that also would make all the RAs and all the administration say you're doing something horribly illegal? All right, so there's a little bit of a F you to the old man. Yeah. Sure. And they kept saying, I can't do this, can't do this. I was like, show me the rules. Show me the rules. And they... To brew beer To brew inside. beer so inside a you, dormitory. You owning and drinking beer, certainly against the rules. Brewing beer. Brewing beer. Making it myself. Having the alcohol fermenting along in a giant five-gallon jug in the closet. Under the bed. Under, well, okay, sometimes under the bed. Kids, I knew kids that grew pot in college, but I didn't know people that, that brewed beer... You'd think that one would be more likely than the other, but yet, yet it's not. You, right. you are the first person I've ever heard brewing beer in the dorm. And I finally was able to you know, say, well, screw you, and they kind of nodded their heads, and I got away with it. And then they had a little bit more issue when I started selling it to the RAs. Okay. Well, who had an issue if you were buying off the, the fuzz there? Well, it was the RAs that I wasn't selling it to. What assholes. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, they didn't get in line. So all right, so so you were. It seems like you're you're a you're an organized crime figure of sorts. Yeah, pretty much. It was a you know, it was bring me five bottles, I'll give you back one type thing. Sure. A nice little exchange rate going on. <laughs> I was I was my own bouncer. Well, that's good. Yeah, I could fill up the door easily, so it worked out well. Exactly. So yeah. do you have people that come in? It would be like a nice little. Yeah. Like... No, I I set it up kind of like a nightclub. Had music playing. Really? Yes. Yeah, it's... it's like a speakeasy. Yeah. I had like the bed. Chad, did you want some of this, awesome. by the way? Where's Chad? Chad. Chad, no, no, no one's at the wheel. Just we may not even be on. It's just us. It's just us. Oh, it's Jammer oh, Bean. Jammer Bean, do you want some of this? Oh, okay. I left him a beer over there, but he never drank it. Ah, ah. The one you spilled really? all over the floor. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Oh, the one that got kind of knocked over and yeah. Yeah, that one. I look at this thing going. It's upside down and been shaken against everything. Well, I'll give it a try. Nope. <laughs> it really wanted to be bubbly. Yeah, I was like, uh, I'm going to leave that one alone. Sure. Now, uh, yes, sir. So what do, so you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you expect to get out of the, the Sierra Nevada beer camp? Because really the goal, is, the goal is to do your own the thing, The goal right? in the end is to do my own, to get my own brand out there. Yeah. So what I'm doing is scoping out the, uh, the true realm of these things because it's one thing to, you know, bake a loaf of bread at home. It's another thing to storm the bakery. Exactly. Or have a bakery. <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm storming for one. You're storming so you can get the dimensions yeah, and the idea. Yeah, and so, exactly so, so you'll be you know, just around people and in touch with people that will, like, if you're like, hey, listen, I want to do a homebrew thing. Uh, I want to take it to the next level. What would you suggest? Right, and, These people would know it. Yeah, and start getting some uh, information from that, kind of where I need to go, what levels I need to take it to. Got some guys who I know actually who've just started their own businesses that are saying, "Hey, yeah, I'll give you all the ins and outs I want that you know they can give me," and you know, I'm, but now I'm getting the more the better. So, well, I'll tell you good. what, uh, I think uh, chat realm, let me know if you would agree with me because this is my sense of it that if there was a NSFW sanctioned beer, uh, and that that I I mean, listen, all everything I drank tonight is delightful. Uh, that. The, the stout and the chili chocolate, uh, Black Tears, as it's known on the street, um, is something that you would want in your life. Uh, look at this. I mean, you're already seeing this right here. Take my money. Lady bait all night long. <laughs> uh, well, I'll take all the money I can get. You know, I, they may I want something back from it at some point. But well, yeah. And listen, that will be I think, what I think will happen. People, people would, yeah, people would, would, would very much uh, uh, like this. And I, I think, you know, Maybe even you know th through Twit, you know, if even if it's just coming up and selling a couple bottles here, uh, you know, for people who come up right. and visit, uh, you know, either to watch Twit or NSFW or MacBreak or anything. I mean, like Jammerby, how many people do you guys have come up here? Well, what would you say per week? All shows, all shows totaled, a hundred, right? Yeah, easily forty on Sunday for Twit, and then sixty spread throughout. Right. You know, five here, five there. Yeah, like. I'll tell you what, like, you know, we've had people come up and watch NSFW show before, but it was, uh, I'll tell you what, I think it'd be a good idea. And it's great stuff. I mean, I, I don't think that we would, we would, you know, I mean, if it was somebody that, like, we knew on the show and they're like, we're homebrewing beer, then we'd probably fake it and be like, oh, this is great. <laughs> but like, you know, like we didn't, I mean, you were, you were a fan of Scam School and you came yep. in and just gave Brian stuff. And like, I know I was over the moon for it, so.
well, we'll figure something out for here and then just move up and beyond. Absolutely. All right. Uh, and, and so start a Twitter account, man. I'll tell you I what. Will. I think a lot of people, I think, there's, I think there's probably a bunch of people who want to know more about the homebrew thing in general. Certainly. I'll get, that, uh, I'll get that active, get that going, start throwing some stuff around there. Yeah, I wonder if Tall Beers, Tall, somebody... I'm looking right now. Well, listen, if... if, if tall Beers taken. So, yeah. Jeff, you're totally in the chat. Um, I've seen your stuff up there. Find us a name. Do it. <laughs> All right, people are saying IT at man Tall there. Beer Guy. Tall, at Tall Beer Guy or at Tall Beer? Well, if somebody tall in chat guy. realm has tall beer, beer. tall beer Guy, then let's pass that over. All right, we got our um, and we got some high-end uh, IT folks here helping us out in the chat. That uh, we we, we dragged in, kicking and screaming, and then yelling and hooting. Awesome. Yes, that's well, the, that's the way to do it. Cheers to you, sir. Cheers, fellow. Cheers, right ma'am. Thank. Thank you for driving. <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that. if you wanted to complain about my driving coming up, then <laughs> wait until you see it going down. If you put me on the wheel. Who's Cause I'll do it. About your driving on the way up. These Me? beers are. <laughs> <sighs> what? I'm just saying. We're we're platonic friends that drove up here together. That yeah. that's what friends do. That is indeed what friends do, Jerry. Exactly. Just saying. Friends also like to be safe on their drive up here. Then All how right. Do, then how do you get stories? Number one, uh, I shaved a solid 12 minutes off the Apple Maps uh, time on the way up here. By not going through the bay? By, uh, well, actually, no, well, but yeah. listen, I can get, I'd be like, 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 like the, the Californian sketch on Saturday Night Live and just do very boring, super local, like, well, I took the BART up to the 19th uh, Street Oakland station so I could avoid and we could get on the, uh, no, I just, I sped like an idiot. And my platonic friend yelled at me. Well, she didn't yell at me. She just... Not for speeding. She very quietly snarked. Tall beer dude is available now. You guys are wonderful. Say it out loud. What a, if chat room has it, they'll get in touch with you. Yeah, they'll do it. Well, the one that was posting is actually one of our buddies. So. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah. Good. We actually know how to find him. Uh, awesome. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll we'll get out of uh, uh, Twit's hair here. All right. Are we all good, Jim? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and uh, to chat realm, cheers, friends. Chat realm. And ones. Let's go ahead. Ones. Put ones up for Brian. <laughs> that's it. I, I, that's the ultimate sign like of Brian Brushwood. Uh, that's uh, th this is like our our yellow ribbon for like like the <laughs> Gulf War. This is like uh, that. The one is our symbol for Brian Brushwood. One day, he'll be out of Time Warner's grasp. One day, his internet will be better. And until that day, we throw up the ones. Throw up the ones, everybody. All right. Cheers. It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW The show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire then you spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile Than do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you NSFW 
I love you.